wearing a $100,000 crown. Based on tonight's scores in the swimsuit and formal wear competition, our judges have now completed their ballots and the names are in no particular order, but with all our thanks and love to all, we announce that our first finalist is... Mrs. Russia! Our second finalist is Mrs. India! Congratulations to our third finalist, Mrs. America! I don't know who they're pulling for around here, but I'll bet you it could be Mrs. Vietnam! Only two more to go. So we call out Mrs. Brazil! Alright, the dream continues for just one more, one last finalist to wear that $100,000 jeweled crown, and that name is Mrs. Poland! Now they are our six finalists. Now, the rules to enter the Mrs. World pageants are simple. First, of course, you must be married. Then you must be at least 18 years of age. And finally, you must be a citizen of the country you represent. It's just that easy. If you want to learn more or see more, please go to www.mrsworld.com. The rewards for a new Mrs. World can be out of this world. But of course, first of all, you will represent all the married women of the world, and you'll do it all over the globe. But there's a royal treasury of fine prizes and gifts, and it will all start as we create a brand new Mrs. World tradition this year with a custom-made $100,000 crown of precious jewels that you will now be used to crown every future Mrs. World. Finding the most beautiful married woman in the world, not an easy assignment, but last year in Kaliningrad, Russia, our judges did just that. They did a fine job when they cast their votes for a lovely young Mrs. Ukraine. And by the end of the evening, Natalia had won the title and she had won our hearts. Please welcome Mrs. World 2008 and her husband, Mohammed. So good to see you again, Mohammed. Welcome. Last year, an exciting year, no doubt, all began with that fabulous crowning. What was your most fabulous memory of your year-long experience? Конечно же, самым ярким моментом в моей жизни это была моя победа на конкурсе Миссис Мира. И, конечно же, яркими, запоминающими событиями был весь год. Визит во Вьетнам, визит в Америку. И последний визит меня очень впечатлил, когда я приехала в Корею, побывала в демилитаризированной зоне, после чего я решила продолжить, продолжить работать в этом направлении для воссоединения двух родных стран Северной и Южной Кореи.